Web 3.0, or Web 3 as it's commonly known, as, is hailed as the next evolution of the internet. But what does it really entail? Well, let's go back in time and see how we've evolved to where we are now. Before that, if you are new to this channel, welcome to Crypto Explainer. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for instant notification. Web 1.0 was essentially a bulletin board where people could create read-only text threads. In other words, the early web allowed us to search for information and read it. There was very little in the way of user interaction or content generation. Web 2.0 changed this by adding multimedia and allowing users to interact with websites as if they were applications. This gave birth to the social media revolution as Facebook and Twitter are prime examples of Web 12. Web 3.0 is still a work in progress, however, is expected to be implemented with four main principles. Open it, which means it's open source and in full view of the public. And trustless, which means interacting without an intermediary. Permissionless, meaning anyone can engage without permission from controlling organizations. And ubiquitous, meaning internet for all. Let's make this easier with an example. Apple Siri is a perfect example of a key component of Web 3.0. Using this technology, Siri and other personal assistants communicate, share information, and provide users with more helpful search results for every meaningful query, including how to, why, and what. Previously, Siri could accomplish only simple tasks, like reminders and directions to the local grocery store, by using pre-programmed algorithms. We'll be doing more videos to cover this topic as there is a law we can talk about, but I hope to joss. Let us know in the comments if you've learned something new. Subscribe to the channel for more factoids. Until next time.